Okay, sixth grade, lesson 13. This is on problems about comparing and then also elapsed time problems, okay? So, so far we learned how to combine things. We had some money and then we added some more and then this is what we had total, okay? Now, if we do things that are separated, which we kind of learned about that, remember the prairie dogs? We had some prairie dogs, and then a hunter came out, and some ducked, some went away. Remember that? And then we had what was left that was remaining. Mm -hmm. All right. Today, we're going to do problems about comparing. Okay? And so, when you're working with comparing, it's going to take something. You're going to take the larger amount minus the smaller amount, and you're going to get the difference. Okay? This word difference, do you remember where you've heard that from? Uh, I think it's That's the, an answer to, to a, a division? Subtraction, subtraction problem. Okay? So, some people like to say L for larger, S for smaller, and D equals difference. L minus S equals D. It doesn't really matter uh, as long as you remember, which you should. Okay? So, let's do one of these word problems. Ready? There were 324 girls, I'm just going to put a G for girls, and there were 289 boys in the contest. And then listen to the question. How many fewer boys were there than girls in this contest? Subtraction. You're going to do a subtraction problem. And how we do a subtraction problem is, remember, we're going to take the larger number minus the smaller number and get our difference or our answer. Okay? So which one's our larger number? 324. The girls, 324. You're exactly right. Okay? The boys, it's 289. So when I subtract this, I'm just going to do it quickly, we end up getting 35. So the answer to this problem is I would say there are 35 fewer boys than girls. Okay? You see how we did that? Mm -hmm. Now, the next thing we're going to learn about is something called elapsed time. Okay? Elapsed time. Elapsed is how much time has elapsed, how much time has happened from one to the other. Okay? For example, tell me how much time has happened since I was born. Okay? I was born in 1978. Long time ago. <laughs> and what year is it right now? 2014. No. 15. 15, silly. Okay. Same thing. So, whenever you're taking elapsed time, again, you want to take the larger number, which is what? Uh, 2015. Yes. Okay, or you could say that's the latest time. Okay, this is latest, and this is the earlier time. 1978 was an earlier date. 2015 is a later date. Okay, yeah. so you're going to take the later date minus the earlier date, or the bigger minus the smaller number. Okay, either way. And then we're going to figure out how old I am, how much time has passed. Let's do the math. Ready? Okay? So I cannot take 8 from 5, so I have to come over here. Okay? And bring here 15. So 8 from 15 is 7. Mm -hmm. 7 I need to take away from 0. I can't. So I have to come over here, but uh-oh, I can't. So I have to come over here, and this one brings 10. And then I have to take away, and then this gives this one 10. Okay? And then 7 from 10 is 3. Mm -hmm. 9 take away 9 is nothing. 1 take away 1 is nothing. So how much time has elapsed from 1978 to 2015? 37. 37 years has elapsed. That's how much time has elapsed over a period of 37 years. Okay, so I am how old? 37. 37 years old. Okay, now here's another question they may ask me dealing with time. Or dates. Okay? How many years was there from 1492 to 1620? 
How am I going to answer this question? Whoa. How much time has gone by? You would put a uh, subtraction, 1620 yes. over. You always 14, take 92. the larger number and put it on top, right? Larger minus smaller, 1620 minus 1492. And that answer is 128. How many, how many years has gone by since 1492 to 1620? 128 years. All right, now, listen to this one. This has to deal with Abraham Lincoln. Okay? okay. It says Abraham Lincoln was born in 1809. I thought 1978 was long ago. He was born, I'm going to write born, born. in 1809. He died, wait, yeah. And he died in 1865. Right. And they want to know how many years did he live? He lived. So this is when he died. So how do I answer Aww. this? You subtract it. Okay, just like that? Nope. nope. You switch them. Yep. I want to put the bigger number on top and the smaller number, so I'm going to bring it down here. Okay. Form. Okay. Now we work it, and he ended up being 56 years old. So, how long did he live? 56 years. Okay, so he died when he was 56. All right? I know. All right, that is lesson 13.